Hello everybody and welcome back to the last episode of a week of Game Dev Tycoon. It's been an incredible journey and I can't believe that we've made it to the position that we have 24.5 million dollars. I am baffled and I don't understand how the world does things um, like this, but I'm sure happy to be a part of it. And in other, in other news, the game link is no longer supported, who gives a shit? Um, what we are going to do now is check our game history. So let's see what we have been doing. I didn't check it yesterday because I'm a ding-dong. Um, but I think game 14 might have been when we left off a couple of days ago on Thursday? No, Friday. And then maybe dong, blood in the sand. Got a 2.25, sucked ass. NLSS Foosball did pretty well for a sports casual game in the N64. Um, 5.75 for the TE or for the Hex Your Dongle, the medieval casual game for the N6 N64. We had the fashion casual game for the uh, Sony PlayStation uh, or the Play System, excuse me. We did Taking It Back, the dance casual game for the PlayStation. We got the 8.25. That was our casual era. We don't really talk about that. Then I released Skulls, Dragons, and Dongs, the medieval action game. For the PC yesterday, I sold 247,000 copies of that, um, and then, and then the Big Kahuna, Donglo, Laundry Evolved on the M box, Red M for Mature, the space action game that sold 2.4 million copies, and basically generated me everything I've ever ever wanted in my in my life. What I'm gonna do now is let's see if I can do anything for. Uh, contracts. Zombie strategy, that sounds lame. Cyberpunk simulation sounds lame. Alternate history casual sounds lame. Vocabulary, any genre, sounds really fun. Um, I'm thinking vocabulary casual? Yes. I will accept that contract and I will pay $350,000. You know what? No. Um, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna steal your idea and I'm gonna do it myself. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is develop a new game. Uh, this is going to be a medium game. It's going to be catered to a younger audience. Actually, E for Everyone or Younger for Casual? E for Everyone. It's a casual game. Um, this is a... Horse Face Spells Face. And it's going to be a... Where is it? Where'd it go? Do I have it? Yeah, Vocabulary. Mm -hmm. um, vocabulary Casual Game. And it's going to be on, where is it at? The the dual screen. The game screen. Yep, I will acquire that license. Thank you. Pick a game engine. Game engine number five. Uh, great combo right here for vocabulary and casual. Awesome. Let's try it out. Um, 2D graphics version 3.0. Yes, that's exactly what I want. You don't need 3D graphics in, in this kind of game. I don't think. I don't think so. Casual is only like 1D or something. Uh... All right, so Paul Prez, you're the new man in charge. Uh, well, actually, you're like this dude. Okay, and then Malichi will be over here. Gameplay, up here. That means Jay Smith is taking over. Um, Paul, you could do the engine stuff. Um, you don't need to do... There's not going to be very many stories and quests, I'm, I'm sure. Um, but let's not drag it down too low. The engine might be somewhat important. I'm thinking stories and quests might be more important than the engine. I don't know. Anyways, character progression, yes. Um, linear story, simple cutscenes, save game, multiplayer, yeah. Um, game tutorials, better user experience, everything. Get hype, get hype. Marketing, um, small campaign, 500, th large campaign, $2 million. Let's do a small campaign, 500,000. Let's not be too crazy ridiculous, although I totally should be because it's our last, last day. Um, perhaps for the next game, I'll do something a little bit more. Uh, but for now, this is fine. Level editor, yeah, whatever. Um, dialogues, artificial intelligence, no dialogues up, maybe, and level design up, sure. That seems good. Oh, drag staff here. Uh, Paul, you could do this. There you go. And last, but certainly not least, we'll be doing something else, I'm sure. Getting some good research points. Still not 80. What did we need 80 for again? Was it was it sequels? I don't remember. Um, okay, stereo sound. And doesn't need to be an open world or a yeah, day and night cycle. Sure. 
Um, maybe not. Hmm. Stereo sound. Doesn't really need an open world, does it? Um, world design, no. Um, stereo sound, yes. And, um, so I'll do... I'll do this. Leech, you could do that. Um, I'm still up high, so how about I do that? Uh, and then Paul does that. And bump, bump, bump. Yeah, so Paul's a newbie. He can handle that. That's what we hired him for. So get hype. Everyone wants this new DS casual game. We'll see what I can do with it. It's vocabulary. It's like brain training or something. Oh, 80 was was two genres or something, right? Wasn't it? I don't remember. Um, get everything up there. Yeah, sure. Keep on throwing technology. Keep on throwing design. Yeah, who cares? You guys good? I think you're good. Hype 56. 4650 new records. Keep shattering everything. Gameplay, stories and quests, dialogues, leveling up, graphics, sound. Let's release this sucker. Still have 22.7 mil. New research available. Video playback, advanced cutscenes, and soundtrack. That could be fun for like a sports game on the Xbox. I might want to revisit that. Uh, the first reviews for our newly released game, Horse Face Spells Face, came in. And Horse Face Spells Face gets a 8. Very enjoyable. That's awesome. I like seeing that. Uh, what else do you get? You get another 8. It's very good. Very good. You're, you're wishy-washing on that 10. One of the best. Horse face spells face and it gets a 9. It's a great game. 8.5. Super excited. Let's do that. Casual games. Non-casual games. Going back to the casual scum roots of J. Smith OTI. Let's generate that game report for horse face. Horse face spelled space. It sounds like a really fun game. I would play that. Sell a bunch of units, please. It's not selling as much as I would hope. Well, you know, look at this. Wow, okay. I'm, I'm happy with that. Keep it, keep it, keep going, keep going, keep going. Uh, so, uh, complete and got the following results. Artificial intelligence uh, seems to not at all be important. Platform, genre match, great. Topic, audience match, everyone, vocabulary, great. Wonderful. I did everything good there. Um, do you guys need to go on vacation? Maybe not. Uh, let's... Get some, oh, almost research. Instead of research, let's find contract work for a few weeks. Library software. Oh. Dear sir, madam, I'm a financial advisor of Wamombo Oil. I'm writing because I know your high reputed child are invest, really? CEO has authorized me to invest 2.5 mil. Safe bank transferred the money, but bank requires confirmation from you. You wish to transfer funds, you must enter one-time verification payment. I trust in you. No. No. Yes. 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 Gull gullibility tax. I'm in for that. F it. Who cares? Last day. All, all, all the cards are on the table. Boom. Contract successful. Transfer $34,000 to your account. Thank you. Um, let's do another one. Nine, nine weeks of this. Time tracking. Nine weeks of keeping track of your time. Good luck, scums. 26.4 mil. $97,000 in costs. Victim Nigerian scammers, yeah. Um, yep. Car size will up front, make the deal. Unwise pay enough, not see the money again. Police are investigating, but seem helpless to stop the international scammers. Well, you know, you win some, you lose some. But when it's, it's, when it's Sunday... And, and you feel really good, you don't have to worry about it. $62,000 to your account. I'm making up that money in no time. Um, so, right now, let's do that research for multi-genre. Like, what am I going to do multi-genre for? Advanced cutscenes, better AI, video playback, that's what I want. I want video playback, and I want a soundtrack. So, train. No, I don't want train. I don't, I don't need you to train in anything. I just need you to research a soundtrack. Multi-platform. Ooh, that's scary. Horse Space Spell Space is off the market. It sold 406,000 copies, generating $4 million in sales. I'm happy with that. Ah, boss fights. I'm getting in fights? 
cool, edgy, uh, hedgehog, duck, rabbit. I like that. And you are done. Okay. So this dude seems to be. Let's let's send him on vacation. And then you're also going on vacation because you're you're scum. Um, me, I'm gonna sit here and not do anything because nothing is free anymore. Uh, maybe I can find a publishing deal. So any topic, any genre, game size medium, min score seven, um, royalties twelve percent. I kind of don't even care about that anymore. Um, any topic, simulation, because I, I I'm really good at doing everything by myself. Let's let's do a large booth, one point five million dollars. Why not? I'm not afraid to spend a little money anymore. So Paul's back, and Malici isn't back yet, but he'll, he'll come back eventually, I hope. Um, so I have one of the largest booths going to be showed at this at this conference. So let's see, horse face, spells face, and see what can happen here. Basically, it's not very much. Um, oh, okay. So we, we've crossed 200,000, 400,000. 400,000 people. Very nice. We didn't make it in the top 100. Wow. I'm sure we gain more fans. We will. Great. Um, anyways. What I can do is uh, develop a new game. And it's going to be a medium game. And it's going to be E for everyone. The topic is going to be sports. Um, the genre is going to be simulation. Uh, the platform is going to be on the M-Box. Uh, this is going to be Ultimate Curling 69. It's going to be in, in nine, oops, 6 foot 9. Nope. 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 Go back. Go. There. Nope. Forward. Thank you. Apostrophe. Ultimate Curling. They, they, there was a really intense curling fight in 1969. This is going to tell the tale of John Sullivan and how he beat the shit out of Vigo Mortison. That doesn't make any sense because that last one, real guy. Um, pick a game engine, the game engine number five, please and thank you. Uh, it's gonna be 3D graphics. We don't, we're not touching the, you know, the 2D. It's not the greatest 3D graphics in the world, but we, we're pouring our heart and soul into it. Uh, the gameplay has to be great. The engine has to be up there as well. Story and quest, not so much. Uh, linear story, simple cutscenes, sure. Save game multiplayer, game tutorials, character progression. Absolutely, those all seem very important in in a, in a curling game. Uh, let's let's uh, let's get some marketing for this. Let's get a large campaign. Build some hype. Arnie from Electronic Games got word that I'm working on a new game. Yeah, I'd love to share some information. Um, Ultimate Curling. Hype, hype the game. This is going to be the greatest game ever. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. Generate all that hype. Yes, get it up there. Get it up at least to 69. Um, better dialogues, level editor. Sure, why not? Artificial intelligence need to be pretty good. Dialogues could probably go down a little bit. Um, level design. Uh, yeah, sure. That seems to be important. Um, let's not make it down too much. But that's good too. I'm not worried. I like I like my team. Um, they seem to like me back. Hopefully, this I'm not overburdening them. Hype is getting up there. Ultimate curling, 69. Yes. Okay. So world design, probably down. Um, sound. Okay. So stereo. Ah, uh, but I didn't make a new thing with all my soundtracks and everything. Ah, way to go, Josh. I'll make a sequel. Ultimate curling, 69 too. Um, and so we'll do. World design. Now you don't even need that. Um, graphics up, sound up, stereo, day and night cycle, open world, and we'll uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, no, maybe not. You can have day and night cycle. You want you know night matches as well. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, it doesn't have it doesn't have a soundtrack, man. Dude, this hype is out of control. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really, really scared of what's going to happen here. I'm just release it right now with all the bugs. What? Okay. Almost. There we go. We good? Are you guys good? 
Everyone? Three, two, one. Oh, yep. I knew it. I knew it. Anyone? We're good? Nope. Not done yet. Yes? No? Three, two, one. Oh, hype is going down. Okay. New records. Let's release it. AI companions, rich backstory. That sounds good. Um. First reviews, Ultimate Curling came in. Oh, please, tell me, baby. Very good. Okay, I like that. Almost perfect. This is the Ultimate Curling Simulator. Yes, can't wait for the sequel. You damn right, Game Hero. I'm gonna come at you with a new, all new engine for it, too. Good game. So, 8997. Not bad, not bad. Um, now I can generate a game report. Ultimate Curling 69, yes, please and thank you. Now, how about, let's see if I, I kind of, okay. Made bold remarks about their in-development game, uh, predicting that it was going to be uber successful. Now that the game is on the market, the consensus is that Jay Smith was spot on as the game has received very positive reviews. Overall, this had positive effect on sales. Damn right. Sell all them curling. Oh my god, look at that. Keep on spreading upwards and outwards. $500,000. Recently went gold. Um, we just got word that Ultimate Curling, which was recently released by Scum Studios, wrecked over 100000 Competitors have observed muttering jealous remarks. Darn tootin', baby. Post analysis been completed. Sports simulation, great combination. Dialogues, not very important. Platform, good. Platform audience max, uh, great. Simulation on the Xbox. Yeah, okay, makes sense. Um, now... How about I, uh, let's see if I can research anything good. 69 research points. Check that out. All right. New topic. Spy? Yes. Um, start. New topic. Uh, no. Well, new topic again. Fantasy? Not right. Now. Wait a minute. Did I miss one? In hospital? No. Um, advanced cutscenes, better AI, Easter eggs, world design. No, no, multi-genre. I can't afford it because I'm an idiot. Um, branching story, advanced cutscenes, and then research, dialogue. Oh, I can't. I only have 10, 19 left, 19 left, 19 left. Sequels. Yeah, let's make a sequel. So let's uh, find contract work. Let's do that. And I'm this is the only, I'm just hoping that this guy makes one research point. Just make one, and I'll be happy with you. I don't even care if you lose it. Okay, good. I mean, you might piss off the company, but, you know, we're not going to worry about it. It'd be great if we actually finished that, wouldn't it? But it's not going to happen. Oh, way to go. You, you took the contract by yourself. You never do that. Uh, sequels. Start it. Now, let's create a custom engine. Uh, 2D graphics, 3D graphics, uh, simple cutscenes, advanced cutscenes, no more simple shit. Uh, video playback, absolutely better, yes. Soundtracks, of course. That seems amazing. Game engine, uh, final showdown. 69. Create engine. Still just raking in money. $29.7 million. I don't even know what, I, what to do with my life anymore. Oh, seems like we got something to decrypt. Very special offer. Gain access to critical systems with your competitors. If you want to play war games, then transfer. Yeah, let's sabotage them. Who cares? Thank you for your business. You're welcome. Enjoy it. I did. That's the second time I've done that. I wonder if, like... Oh, man, almost went platinum. $9 million in sales. Printing money. Completed sequels. Good job. Now, let's check our game history. So, if you want to know how I made so much money last time and you weren't around, uh, because this motherfucker, Donglo, Laundry Revolved, was the greatest selling game of all time. Top sales rank 1. Yes. Um, okay, so now, let's go back to our roots. Our first game was a transport 
simulation called the SS Scum. I want to beat the SS Scum. Or, if I came out with Fall Into Laundry 2, Fall Into Laundry, yes, that's a post-apocalyptic RPG, I'm making it. You can't stop me. Oh, this is going to be good. Wait, did I, I did develop sequels, right? Uh, we'll see the next generation video game consoles as early as next year. Hardware advancements in PC industry have not yet reflected in gaming consoles yet. We can expect an next generation to truly exciting leap forward. Both Microsoft and Vani race to introduce whatever. It's all good. I wonder if I should make that. Post-apocalyptic RPG. Yeah, that's definitely going to come out for the PC. Master Race, obviously. Lion Feet Studios said they've been victim. Yep, yeah, that sucks. Sorry. Police are investigating. Don't find me. I didn't do it. There's those guys in... Where were they? South Africa or something. Large booth. Yes. We're bringing it back. Soundtrack. Make it. Thank you. Final Showdown 9 is complete. Wonderful. Let's do some research on... I don't want to do anything down here just because it doesn't make any sense to do that. Uh, so let's get a fantasy. Um, Brent, do you think I can make... Like, how much do I need for multi genre 80 RP? I'm not gonna make that. All right, so let's do this. Let's develop a sequel, and we're going back. We're going back to not underwater DC. Where is it at? Fall into laundry. Medium game. Fall in two. Laundry. Oh, the, I love it. Rated M for Mature. No, E for Everyone. Yes, M for Mature. What is... What is... What is Fallout? Oh, God, I don't even know. Oh, I wish I knew. Probably M for Mature. Yes. It's it's the gritty new one. So, it's going to come out for PC. The Game Engine, Final Showdown 69. Yes, Fall Into Laundry. Great combo. 3D graphics, absolutely. And here it comes. Engine down, stories and quests way up. Advanced cutscenes, video playback. Um, I like that. So engine, video playback, multiplayer. No, it doesn't need multiplayer. Um, but save game for sure. Video playback, yes. In case you want to rewind and see it. So stories and quests all the way up. Gameplay up high as well. Engine a little bit less. That works for me. Hype one, no. Let's we're we're getting a large campaign. Boom. We're making it. Oh, we're going to the game convention for Fall into Laundry. Oh man, it's gonna be good. Come on, baby. Ugh, you suck. 447. We made it into the top. We placed at 100. Very good. Very good. <laughs> we made it into the top 100 at 100. Um, level design, yes. Whoa, dialogues, yes. Level design, a little bit less. And then AI, a little bit less. Um... And those are good ratios as well. Level editors, better dialogues. I don't have any character progression or anything. I hope, maybe hopefully that's not too bad. But, can't help it. You know, you live and learn, and you do things. Uh, needs a soundtrack, stereo sound, and a soundtrack. Open world, and a day and night cycle. Absolutely. Um, world design, yes. Graphics, um, yes. But sound needs to be good too. Um, what I'm gonna do now is switch me for that and him for that. And I think that'll be okay. Yeah, because I'll do the brunt of the work. And then the scums will do what, you know, whatever's left. I'm cool with that. Fall into laundry. 169. Yes, I saw it. I saw it. Get up to 200. Yes, keep on going. Keep going. All right. 
Let's let's polish off these bugs. 221. 221. Yes, yes. Seems adventure games are especially popular. Who cares? Not my fault. 57, 57. Seems good. 58, 57. That's cool as well. Boom. 58, 57. New record. Things are being shattered. Games are being made. And Jay Smith is releasing them. Come on, sequel. Do good. First reviews. I see tens. Nines. Tens! Truly great! Come on. Fall into laundry. The name itself is perfect. Almost perfect. Yes. Ten. Must have. I agree. And a ten. Dude, you better be a ten. Masterpiece. I love it. Informed gamer, you're, you're a scum of the earth. Ten. Nine. Ten. Ten. I'm the greatest man. Now, let's see what I can do with that. The newest game in the series, titled Fall in 2 Laundry. Great response. Critics praised Fall in 2 Laundry. Had a newer engine than the original, really driving technical innovation. That's what you need. Let's send these scums on vacation. There. You did well. Go on vacation. You did well. Go on vacation. Now, um, generate a game report. 9.75. The greatest man. Research. There we go. Very enjoyable game. Term dialogue tree. The term dialogue tree really doesn't do fall into laundry justice. The game has a dialogue forest in a good way. Rarely will a game captivate you as much as fall into laundry. Oh, thanks, man. I agree. I guess I did have those those things then. We just got word uh, which recently developed racked up over 500k in sales. Wonderful. What was my game that sold, like, Platinum? I forget. Oh, uh, what was it? Donglo. Uh, so, story and quest, very important. Graphics seem to be quite important. And platform, uh, PC mature, great. Come on. You gotta get, you gotta get it. Get a, get a million, get a million, get a million. Ah, oh, it's slowing down, I'm not gonna reach it. Ah, oh, so close. Let's research. Let's get a, let's get better AI. No, I want, I want multi-genre. I want multi-genre. There we go. Uh, the Mbox 360. Sweet. Let's do it. Um, or let's research. So multi-genre. Fantasy. Yes. And good. Now let's also, no, that's, that's good. That's good. 33.6 million dollars. Wonderful. Completed fantasy. Completed multi-genre. Let's make a new game. Ah, so. Medium again. Uh, let's pick our topic. Oh, okay. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. It's gonna be a uh, comedy. It's gonna be a comedy. And it is going to be action adventure. Wait, that's action RPG. Action adventure. There we go. Uh, and it's going to be on the PC. Action, er, where action adventure reigns supreme. And it's going to be, you know, Princess Northern Lion. Pick a game engine. The final showdown 69. And there we go. 3D graphics. Yes. And we'll see what I can do with Princess Northern Lion. Um, gonna have multiplayer, as every action adventure should be. Engine 82, gameplay 96%. I don't even know what that means. Um, okay. So, action adventure. Gameplay needs to be good. Story and quest and engine need to be all probably pretty good. Engine, yeah, I like how this looks. Gameplay, right? Action, yeah. Starting quest. Good. Hype. Hype is not high enough for us. We're doing a large campaign. It's still selling units. It needs a hundred thousand more to get platinum. It's slowing way down though. 
Um, okay, so dialogues down. No, dialogues still stay a little bit up. Level design needs to be good, and AI needs to be good too. Action adventure. Yeah. Yeah. AI could probably be down. Now that I think about it, I think that'll be good. The hype is not that high. Popular genre adventure. This is an action adventure. Nine million dollars in sales. So close. Need a uh, hundred and five thousand more. Hype. Disappointed in the hype. Disappointed in the hype. But you can only do so much with Princess Northern Lion. You know she's she's not selling that well right now. We'll do uh, world design a little bit lower. Graphics way up. Sound is gonna be good too. Open world, day and night cycle. Yep. Uh, Scum Studios, would you like to share some information? Yeah. Expectations. It's gonna be. Uh, it's gonna be. It's gonna be modest. Let's be modest. Thank you for your time. I'm scared about that hype. It's not that much. Um, but it's going up. I don't know. This popular genre is adventure. This is gonna be an action adventure. If I could get it before that, maybe I should have just hyped it. You know, finish it right now. Fuck it. Um. Up oh, normalized again, so doesn't even matter anymore. And yep. Yeah. Man, you guys really scummed this one up. 40 and 40? Serious? New topic, new combo. 3D Graphics V2 leveled up, so I'll be able to make V3, I hope. So let's release this game. Yeah, sure. Paul Prez gets a new... It's a, it's a raise, of course. Princess Nordland came in. Yeah, look at that's Wow. Bin material. Ugh. Okay. Mmm. Sorry. Way to go, Norline. Action adventure games work well on PC. My ass they do. And disappointing. Hmm. Well, you know, I kind of told you it was gonna be a little bit modest. It's gonna obviously it's gonna be a large booth. Who cares? We have the money. We just get our minds in the people or into the people. We know. Um now we can you know what? Let's uh let's go out with a bang. Let's just develop a new game right now. Uh you know what? Let's fire these guys. You're fired. Yep. You're fired. Boom. I'm yep. Now we're making we're developing a new game. Doing it myself. It's going to be a medium game. I'm going to pick a topic. It's going to be it's going to be a romance. The genre is going to be casual. It's gonna be casual. That's it. Casual. No, fuck that. It's gonna be an action RPG romance. The platform. We're going to. What are you? <laughs> I love how they totally ripped that, didn't they? Um, it's gonna go on the the PSP and um, rated M for mature. Obviously, this is just gonna be salty, salty bits. In other bits. In others bits. I think. Others bits? Sure, whatever, doesn't matter. Pick a game engine. It's gonna be the final showdown, of course. There's gonna be 2D graphics, but they're V3, so it's okay. Um, linear story, yes. Advanced cutscenes, yes. Uh, multiplayer, no. Video playback, no. Game tutorials, yes. Um, J. Smith, and J. Smith, and J. Smith. Yep, all of these. Um, so, action RPG, engine, go down, gameplay, yeah. Okay. Scum Studios. See how much I... It's just going to be me working this whole thing. I set it up. I made it. It's my baby. Ugh. I don't even think I broke into the... Did I? Oh, I got 97. There we go. Get hype. Oh, yeah. Speaking of hype. Large campaign. Absolutely massive. It's going to be the greatest game of all time. 
I'm developing it from the ground up for myself. Yep, um, dialogues need to be up there. Um, artificial intelligence needs to be low. Level design needs to be high too. Yep. Um, doesn't need you don't need a level editor. That's fine. Oh, sorry. Jay Smith needs to be in here. Yeah, there you go. He's just gonna work on that by himself. And because this is this is gonna be him. This is gonna be you know him before he he needs to go to back home. Um, this is this is gonna be his masterpiece. There's just gonna be there's gonna be mono sound or just basic just beeps and boops. It's gonna be really pretty. Um, no open world, no day and night cycle. Day and night cycle, I'm saying actually. Um, so sound down, world design up, graphics um, up as well. So get me there, 300% max capacity. I'm trying to figure out what his life is doing with this. It should be good. It should be good. I, I don't see how this could possibly go wrong for us. Salty bits in others' bits in others' bits. I guess other is a person. It should be others is but S and then apostrophe, I think. Two months, the M-Box will be taken off the market. And then the, the, also the game sphere. Oh, look. The, the new the, the new is releasing. New features, a console with built-in motion sensor. Wow. First playtest, there's huge grins in their faces. It seems like a lot of fun. Hype, 200. Princess Nordland's off the market. It sold a lot. Well, at least, wait, no, I think it made less than a million. All right, new topic, new combo. Let's see what happens here. 2D graphics leveled up. Wow, release the game. First reviews, salty bits and others bits came in. It's getting ones. Yep. Mm-hmm. Not worth the statement. I might get a two here. Disappointing. Yeah. You guys just don't get it, Informed Gamer. You don't get it, Star Games. You don't get it, Game Hero. And psh, boring? Are you? It's meant to be boring. It's a, it's a, it's an action RPG. God. You guys don't understand the genius. But fine. I understand. Let's see how good this game does, or see how poor it does as well. But overall, I'm I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this. This has been a whole lot of fun doing this series. Um, wow, yeah. Uh, I think I did well. You know, I'm 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 real happy making the the millions that I did. The inbox no longer supported, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, I'm losing fans left and right and center. But that's okay because I did it my way. I did it exactly the, the way that I wanted to do it. No regrets. An employee, yep, your company has high electrical footprint. Would you install solar panels? You can decrease the footprint. Nope. Ignore the offer. Yeah. Suck it. Um, now, I do want to thank you guys very much for, for hanging out with me. This has been great. It's been a whole heck of a fun week. I got more for you coming up next week, so definitely stay tuned. Um, I am Jay Smith OTI. I do something new every week. Uh, make sure if you don't, if you didn't like Game Dev Tycoon, I don't know how you listen to this this long. Um, but stick to tomorrow when I'll have something new for you guys. Regardless, have a great day. Have a great one. I love you. I'm Jay Smith OTI. Check me out at twitter.com slash Jay Smith OTI. Also on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Jay Smith OTI. I have sold uh, 42,000 units and made $464,000. That's not too bad. I'm okay with that. Whatever. It's all good. I'll see you guys next time. I love you. And tomorrow will be a new day. Later.